would say my first influence in cooking would be my grandparents. Uh, my grandmother was always making soups, and my grandfather always pickling and preserving from his garden. And I think that is probably where uh, a lot of my first interest in food comes from. I enjoy cooking because it's always uh, an interesting and different day. It keeps you motivated to try new things, and it's always changing and keeping things interesting. At Raymond's, it's mostly focused on local seafood and wild game and wild edibles from the island, and trying to turn that into something fine dining. Sometimes just we'll meet early, take a drive down the Southern Shore Highway, and go to the beach in Torres Cove and pick Scotch Lovage and beach pea and oyster plant, and then bring them back to the restaurant, clean it up, and use it for garnishing plates and whatnot. At Raymond's, um, it is a unique restaurant in the sense that Newfoundland being the only province where you can serve wild game, so it makes it an interesting place because you can't get this experience anywhere else in Canada. The professors at Loyalist College really uh, encourage you to go out and push where you can and think you can go in life and really encourage you to go and explore the world of food. I started working at a restaurant when I was 16 years old and working with a lot of Newfoundland style foods and actually realized that once I started cooking in these places that that's exactly where I wanted to be and where I wanted to go with my career. I feel so blessed actually working at Raymond's and getting the chance to work side by side with some of the top chefs here in Canada. I grew up on these foods and it was moose or rabbit stew, a lot of root vegetables and a lot of the things uh, that we ate at our dinner table was from the land which a lot of people here don't actually experience. But to go from having those types of meals transformed into something so great and so high-end, it's, it's unbelievable. 